If the damage isn't too great, with a little care and attention to detail, you can do your own repairs to scratched or marked duco and save yourself a heap of money as you do so. Just remember, as with any paint project, preparation is the most important part of the job. You've got to have good ventilation because no paint is meant for breathing and make sure you take your time. Mistakes will last and last. Here's exactly how you do it. Clean the area to be repaired using wax and grease remover with a clean dry cloth and wipe off with a second clean dry cloth. This removes any bitumen, old car polish or any other contaminants. Remove the paint from the rusted area as well as the surrounding area by approximately 50 millimetres by machine or hand sanding with a 24 grit to 36 grit sandpaper. Ensure all loose and flaky sections of rust are removed. Treat all rusted areas by applying rust converter by brush to the rusted metal only. Rust converter applied to clean metal or to paint will not dry and will remain tacky, resulting in poor adhesion of the fillers. Allow the rust converter to completely dry before proceeding to the next step. Place the required amount of glass fibre filler or metal tech onto a plastic or metal mixing board. Do not use cardboard. Knead the tube of hardener well to ensure the contents are fully mixed. Then add the hardener to the glass fibre filler at a ratio of one part hardener to 50 parts filler. Mix well with your plastic applicator, ensuring a continuous tone is visible before proceeding. It's important to mix these products well to produce a good result because a mixture with too much or too little hardener will remain soft and tacky after application and must be removed. Immediately apply a thin layer of the filler to the repair surface using firm pressure on the applicator to force the filler into all crevices and eliminate any air pockets. Gradually apply the remaining filler until it is slightly higher than the surrounding edge of the repair. For best results, glass fibre filler or metal tech should only be applied to bare metal and not to painted surfaces. Correctly mixed glass fibre filler or metal tech is fully cured or hardened in around 20 to 30 minutes and is then ready for sanding. Once the mixture is fully cured, rough sand the filled area using 40 to 80 grit sandpaper by hand or machine until the filler is level with the surrounding panel. Clean the surface thoroughly to remove all remaining sanding dust and residue. It's important to note that glass fibre filler or metal tech are used to fill rust affected areas only. They provide added strength that's necessary but they are patching fillers only and will need an application of car filler to fully level and smooth the repair area. Place the required amount of car filler onto a plastic or metal mixing board. Do not use cardboard. Knead the tube of hardener well to ensure the contents are fully mixed and then add the hardener to the car filler at a ratio of one part hardener to 50 parts filler. Mix well with your plastic applicator ensuring a continuous tone is visible before proceeding. It's important to mix these products well to produce a good result because a mixture with too much or too little hardener will remain soft and tacky after application and must be removed. Immediately apply a thin layer of the filler to the repair surface using firm pressure on the applicator to force the filler into all crevices and eliminate any air pockets. Gradually apply the remaining filler until it's slightly higher than the surrounding edge of the repair. For best results, car filler should only be applied to bare metal and not to painted surfaces. Correctly mixed car filler is fully cured or hardened in around 20 to 30 minutes and is then ready for sanding. Once the mixture is fully cured, rough sand the filled area using 40 to 80 grit sandpaper by hand or machine until the filler is level with the surrounding panel. If necessary, you can reapply car filler if further filling is required. It's important to note that car filler should not be wet sanded as it will cause rust under the surface of your repair. Finally, feather sand the paint repair edge and the filler using 120 to 180 grit sandpaper to achieve a smooth finish. You have now repaired the rust affected panel and it is ready for the paint repair stage.